What's up guys? Welcome to Gray Screen. Gray Screen is a game that okay, I'm I'm gonna cut the bullshit. <laughs> Welcome back to some more simple planes. Today, guys, I'm starting in the building mode thingy mabob because I need to show you this. This creation is incredibly massive. Just look at this. When I zoom out, oh my god, look at that. It's like 20 times bigger than the small pad down there. And one very important thing to take into notice is that the creator said this one works better in multiplayer. And this is by Bacon Aircrafts, by the way, a very long-term viewer of mine. And I don't have the multiplayer mod. I would love to actually play multiplayer at some point. And I kind of thought about implementing that into the streams that we are to... Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. What the hell did I just do? Okay, well, fear not. I'm just gonna, with my expert skill, I'm gonna put... Put that back. Yes, yes, beautiful, absolutely. Be <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing right now. Whoa, this, this is. I don't even know what to say about this. It just started to do this already as soon as I loaded in. Things are going great today, aren't they, guys? Well, either way, there's a bit of lag, but also we are currently at a very steady 270 miles per hour. That is shocking, considering I'm not using any thrust. Okay, I managed to fix it here, so let's see. 50% would be the throttle up, or basically just hover. And then one notch on the uh, on the VTOL there. Yes, and that is sort of gonna keep it... Oh, a little bit steady, okay. I think I need to just go up. So 100% here, and I can sort of correct this with the arrow keys. God, this this is heavy. This is seriously heavy. Let's try to go forwards a little bit with uh, VTOL there. I believe that was on the control. Oh, no, 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 no. That's too far. That's too far. Uh, why am I so crooked in the air? I need to seriously correct this one. It also said on the page that uh, roll and yaw at the same time would create a lot more stability. But honestly, this is very, very slow and very hard to control. Also, I love the bacon on the back there. Also, I actually kind of thought that this would be a lot. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. I need to, I need to get the correct camera position here otherwise i'm just gonna crash this over and over and over again i would actually love to crash this so you know what let's just do it let's try it i don't know if we are gonna be able to from this height but still let's try it out i think it's gonna start to roll again the back there is going down explosion no Okay, one thing that I need to point out though, I kind of thought this one would be a lot bigger, as in a lot bigger, but I guess that is not the case. Maybe they sort of scale universally down to a size that the game can handle or something? I don't know, I may be completely stupid. Hey, another plane! Well, I'm trying this one more time and I want to get out there so I can see if I can actually do a loop with this one. I also want to go a little bit forwards. I kind of wish that you could do this a lot better, like at least a lot more speed, and I also would have a bit more skill, but I guess that's never gonna improve, as some of you guys may testify to in these videos but yes let's try to make it out there if i ever will okay see here's the thing that that i'm kind of worried about okay there we go now we're going backwards and that's by the vtol i am i am so bad at controlling this one hang on is it what am i doing what am i even do okay it's it's stable it's stable in the air for now no no don't don't just, just <laughs> what why are you on your side now this is not how you're supposed to work i think can i at least get an explosion now if i kill the thrusters Nope, it just decided to stand on one rotor instead. Well, I mean, we can always use the uh, final approach there, so let's do that. I'm just a little bit worried about the flipping again. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm worried about there. So, it is truly stunty here, I guess, because it's keeping itself in the air or whatever. I'm still going to try to reset it right there, so let's see how that goes. That is the exact same thing happening. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Pretty cool creation either way, and sometime in the future, if I'm ever going to do multiplayer in a stream or something, this would definitely be included. All right, so Time to check out how this one works, and I am very confused about everything. Also, look at all those guns. Like, I don't know if you can see that because of the very bright background or ground there, but there's a ton of guns, and it's going in basically every single direction, which is absolutely crazy. I know you also have the thrust that you can use to get these ones up, which is just even more badass. Uh, action group number... Well, okay, we can basically just take a look at this first. So, VTOL is up, and that is gonna roll the creation along the ground. So, it is kind of a walking system, but not really a walking system as much as a tumbling system. And then I guess action group two, and then the trim up just a little bit. What what in the hell did that do? Yeah, okay, so these are the inner cannons here. I'm just gonna try to stop this. Stop, please. Okay, now it's going backwards, so this is not good. What the hell happened down there? We're on our wheels now. But I figured it out. So what you gotta do is the action group two, and then the uh, trim all the way up, and that is going to race the wheels down there. It looks amazing. It reminds me of that sniper walker at one point in Besiege. 
There we go. And that way we can now deactivate the uh, VTOL over there and we're not going backwards and still letting the machine wind itself back up. But anyways, what you got to do is to deactivate group number two and then you can still use the trim out here to get some precise shooting going on. That is what is happening there. Also, the creation tends to slide out a little bit simply because of all the wheels down there. But that is also to be expected. Okay, so we got that rocket gun out there. I guess that's the rocket pod or the siege gun or whatever. Not too sure. How about the... Okay, air to air, no weapons. We still got the trim prop coming in let's see if i can shoot it with this at least i'm i i don't think that's gonna happen ever oh wait it's coming right there i only have two shots so let's go oh damn it well okay i i severely missed that i think i forgot to mention this before by the way but just to mention that again in case i didn't say it this suspension system is incredibly good because the upper part of the tank the upper sort of artillery part of it is not shaking nearly as much as one would think when it has a walking system quite like this again it is sort of a tumbling system but still amazingly made i I wouldn't have any idea about how to make this. All right, guys, the next one up today looks a little bit strange. I love when, when creations are made like this because this is very creative to me. And this looks incredibly cool. It only features, I think, four parts, which is a frame, wings, engine, and cockpit. So let's go. I just totally realized we didn't have any landing gear. Can we still do this? Oh my god, we actually took off like that. That is pretty impressive to me. It said the true stuntiness, the truest of the stunty. Okay, cool. This is this is going great so far. Also, something that I can talk about in the meantime is I am going to clear out all of my tags because I was told that uh, that all my tags are overflowing and everything. So I need to clear everything out and then you guys can repost everything that you want me to show in a video, basically. But please try to keep it as minimal as possible per episode that I give out. So maybe upload like two or three creations per person and then when i do another episode then you can re-upload some more so i can clear out the tag after that and that way we can get everything under control again because i believe there is over like almost if not more than 40 pages which is pretty insane okay so let's go through the bridge i hope i can do this yes easy as hab high and then of course also the roll there as well uh i just kind of saw that we only have nine 9% of you left. I'm going to seriously cut these engines. <laughs> this is crazy. This is incredibly not fuel efficient. I don't know what else you would say. Like, it is swallowing fuel incredibly fast. Well, I mean, we can still almost kind of glide up and then turn around a little bit. Can I turn? No. No. So I'm just going to use the last amount of speed that I can possibly get out of this one. Turn it around and hopefully be able to glide into the landing strip there and then not die. Okay. We ran out of fuel. This is good. Now it's time for the landing. Yeah, so I am, I am, I am. I am, I am gonna die. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. I'm also not going for the landing strip anymore. Yes, I died. Or at least it exploded. I mean, the cockpits in Simple Planes, I believe there's some sort of... I guess you could kind of call it lore. That the cockpits are completely indestructible. But yes, roll and a loop works absolutely perfectly with this. I kind of like the maneuverability of it as well. Because it is very simple. It is simply a frame, an engine, some wings, and a cockpit. But this is very, very easy to control. I am a little bit worried I was gonna hit the water there. But we seem to be just fine. The, uh, the fuel efficiency here is not very good, but still it is incredibly fast, and you know what? What is to be expected? Because there's not many other parts to carry fuel. How about if I keep it at 50% and then just come in here? I also completely forgot that there may be some sort of braking functionality on this. Well, no, there's not, because there's no air brakes. So pull up, pull up, and just kind of, kind of come in for a soft landing. Don't, do not, do not explode. Okay, friction equals brakes, I guess. So that's, that's the way this is gonna work, apparently, and apparently it did. I am quite surprised about this one yeah not really much else to it i mean the fuel efficiency kind of bad but i guess you can just kind of limit the thrust that you're using as well so this this is very very intriguing to me because it's creative it's incredibly creative with minimal amounts of parts and incredibly good functionality as well okay guys we are going from something very small and very strange looking to something very big and ordinary looking this one has so many functions that i had to practice everything before i started recording this one and still i am very afraid i'm gonna miss a lot of stuff the first thing is action group number one back here and then VTOL down that is going to be responsible for the door there. It's very slow and I don't see any sort of entrance. It's just kind of folding down. Still, it's very cool because it's only cosmetic. The activate action group number one, action group number two plus VTOL up is the flaps down there. Uh, I think that's like a bomb on that or like a torpedo or whatever like people in the past episode by the way freaked out when I said bomb instead of torpedo. I'm sorry about that guys. I'm not making these videos to try and 
trigger you. The action group number three is responsible for the, uh, what the hell is happening now? Hang on a second. I think I did something wrong with action group number two. Is, is it not? Oh yeah, that's right. It's VTOL down. Okay, right. So that is the air flaps right there that is responsible for breaking the creation much more efficiently. Action group number four, I guess. Oh my God. Okay, that, that seriously startled me for just a second. Uh, action group number five. Yes, plus something with the VTOL up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's sort of a refueling uh, procedure that it has. God, that makes a lot of noise. But yes, I think you're supposed to do that in the air. Number six is uh, lights. Number seven is something else that I also think was lights. And then action group eight would do something with the engines there. I'm not too sure what that is exactly. But yeah, sure. So let's get this one into the air and we can also try to, well, first of all, fly it. But secondly, refuel it. And look at that speed. It is picking up incredibly fast. Oh my God. This is, this is crazy. I know I say something. Oh, what the hell was that? Bad. Okay, well, I guess it's not my day today. Actually, it is my day today because I have officially exploded. Officially exploded, yes. But yes, what I was about to say is not officially exploded. I was about to say officially employed at the company I was at because today we actually signed the employment contract. And so now I finally, after one and a half years of absolute misery in terms of finances and uncertainty about keeping my apartment, I now have a job and I fucking love it. Right, so it keeps on breaking roughly around 100%. So I'm gonna try this at 40 or something, maybe a little bit more like 50. Yeah, roughly, it's okay. We don't really need to be that precise. Also, what does the trim out here do? Oh, that's right, that's right. It described something with the pitching. Uh, number four is gonna, yeah, okay, so that's gonna drop those, that's okay. Uh, I guess we can try to refuel this. So action group number five, and then pay attention to the tail there. So the, wait, hang on a second, what am I doing? Is that... Oh, what the fuck is happening today? I can't do anything with this without exploding. But you know what? We can still try and see if this is truly stunty. Hopefully don't explode. We are not even within the strict height. So yes, a loop, loopity loop, and everything should be just fine. I can also just kind of pitch back a little bit more with the uh, trim over here. That's going to help me a little bit, I guess. Uh, also, about the weapons, I'm not too sure if we have any. Okay, 91 rocket pots. That is definitely weaponry. Okay, coming in incredibly crooked, but we are coming in. And you know what? I do not care because I have I have done other the other 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 landings that are incredibly harder. I cannot even talk. And look at that. That was actually very, very good. Incredibly smooth. I mean, a little bit bumpy at first, but this is a very good landing. All I need to do now is, is, is break it. What the hell? Okay, that was action group number four. Action group number three and down. Yes, yes. Okay, break the freaking plane, please. Do not explode into the building. Do not. I think it's slowing down. Yeah, I think we are just fine. Yes, we are. Okay, guys, so this was my adventure into some more simple planes today. And I want to say this one more time. I am going to clear out all the tags after this video is being released, like somewhere around 20 minutes after, so that the majority of you guys at least have a chance to hear about it. So I will be doing that. And then you guys can, of course, uh, post some new tags. But please keep it to like two or three per person. So I know that there's not going to be a flood from every single one of you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And that way, I think that every single episode I do, I will re refresh all the tags and then some fresher creations are gonna get into the mix oh another plane up there another plane up there yeah okay that's gone but either ways guys thank you everybody so much for watching some more simple planes this is this is an awesome series and honestly way back when i cannot believe i didn't do any more of this so thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace